All right, on to one of the more difficult challenges. This is going to be the Iron Challenge for Stormcloud Temple. You only get mages, and you only get a maximum of level 4. So this is going to be a little bit of a challenge, and we'll see what I can come up with on this particular map. As I mentioned, it is a little bit more challenging, and and I'm not quite sure what strategy I really want to employ um, just quite yet. I may try the just build as many mage towers as I can and as many teleport towers as I can and hope for the best because that's really been the issue so far. Just trying to get as many mage towers in position and then perhaps being able to constantly teleport them back. I, I had tried the strategy. Oops, upgraded that one a little bit too far. Um, I had tried this strategy with only the towers that they gave me. And it didn't work out well because the, the numbers started to swarm up just a little bit too quickly. So perhaps with more towers, and which is equivalent to more damage, the strategy may work out a little bit better. And you may also want to try for a couple of Sorceress Towers, even though the Sorceress Towers and their damage it seems lower. Uh, because you're able to summon that Rock Elemental or summon that Elemental, the elemental also does some damage as well. So I think I'm going to try to put in um, some of the mage element the, or the elemental towers here and here to see if I can perhaps do a little bit more with them. Also, the elemental towers do deal and they attack faster, but for less damage than the arcane wizard towers as well. So that's always nice if you have a large swarm of units, you want um, faster or higher damage higher damage with a slower um, or lower damage with a higher rate of attack similar to marines versus zerglings it generally works out well unless you add in binglings Uh, this one extra tower up here is really making a big difference. Oh, I don't have this. I don't have the sun tower. Hmm. You know what? I, I sometimes forget it. Let's go ahead and try not using it this time around. Or I could upgrade it now. Put it in a nice kill zone there so anything that tries to walk its way does get slowed down just a bit and then i can do the same thing over here i'll put it right uh, I, I cannot have the overlapping kill zone so i need another mage tower there damage Yeah, the, I, I think this additional rock golem is just making this stage a lot easier this time around because of the additional bonus damage that he deals. Um, he deals 70 to 110, which is in and of itself a, almost another full tower. You don't have to worry about armor. And then you have a whole bunch of other slower attacking towers as well to really balance out the rest of your damage dealing system here. And... You know,
let's start. Let's upgrade that one, that one, this one, this one, and this one. This poor guy hasn't even even really been joining in on the fighting yet. Perhaps he'll finally be in range. I don't want to upgrade the towers until I know I need to. I'm going to back off with this golem. I want him to regenerate his hit points just a little bit. And now in comes the yetis. Uh, I guess I will upgrade this now. start turning them to sheep. And this particular strategy almost makes it seem a little bit too easy. <laughs> Is that it? Wow. All right. Um, I know I said that this was one of the more one of the rather more difficult ones, but um, apparently I didn't have any problems with this one strategy. So I don't know if you guys got stuck on it, but this one did take me two to three tries um, before I came up with a strategy on the fly that worked. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening.